Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well today we're going to build this little expanding section. If you look at the little purple bar there, looks like a regular little bar but if we actually hover over it for a second it expands into a section. Really easy to do and that's a nice little effect right there. If we get off of it it'll collapse back up to where it was. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. Once loaded I'm going to go down to where I want to work and let's just delete this section. Okay. So I'm going to add a new section, little blue button here. I'm going to use a regular section. I'm going to put in a single row with a single column. Inside here I'm just going to use a blur purely for the icon. And I don't particularly want any text. If you want to put text in yours you're more than welcome to. And we'll go down to image and icon. I'm going to hit the use icon button and I'm going to put a little sort of down type arrow there. It's great. Now I don't really want anything else in there. I'm going to give it a background color. There we go. Let's go to my design. I'm going to make the icon white. I'm going to take it down a little bit in size. So I'll hit the use icon font button bring it down. I think I want it something like that. And it's got a bit of padding on the bottom. Let's add a bit to the top. So if we go on down to spacing, let's try 40 pixels on top. Maybe a little bit much with 10 on the bottom. Something like that, that's going to work for me. Okay, I want to make this full width and take the gap away from the section that's holding it. So I'm going to go into the actual section itself, the blue tab. I'm going to go to design, spacing. I'm going to take away all the padding from the top by simply putting a zero in at the top padding there. There we go. Now it looks like we've got a little bit left on our row. So we'll go into the row, the green tab. We'll take away that padding and while we're in here I'm going to make this full width. So again I'm going to go down to spacing and for the top I'm going to put in zero. I don't want any padding at the top whatsoever. There we are. So it's butted up against the section above. Now let's close up spacing and go back up to sizing. Width I'm going to take to 100%. I'm going to copy that, control C paste it in the max width below control V or you can just type it in as you can see we've got a little full width section there okay well, let's add some contents this is how it's going to appear and then we want to add some contents that it's going to expand to so I'm going to add a new section I think I've got some saves in the library for expediency row one we'll throw that in there There it is, it's just a couple of little posts right there. Okay, well let's work on making the, the sort of magic happen. Go into our section, I'm gonna give it a slight background color so it's slightly different from the section below. I'm just gonna give it a blue, click on the color. I'm gonna pull the opacity down so it's a real light blue, something like that. That's fine. Now, when we're, while we're in here, we've gotta decide what we want. So when we're not hovering over it, I just want to see this section here. So I'm going to go over to the Advanced tab. I'm going to go down to Visibility. And because I'm going to set some different heights for it, I want to have the overflow switch to Hidden. So Horizontal Overflow, I'm going to go down to Hidden. And Vertical Overflow, I'm going to put down to Hidden. Now you won't see any change now, but when I start changing the height, you certainly will. So let's go back into our design now. We'll go to sizing. 
and down to height. Now, common to most Divi modules, when you hover over the dark legend in there, you'll see these little icons appear. You want to go to the one with the arrow, and we can set a regular or non-hover state when the mouse is not on it, and a hover state when the mouse is on it. So when the mouse is on it, I want to be able to see all of this. So let's set the height, let's guess about 700. 700 pixels. Yeah, it's cutting it off slightly there. You can slide it up and down and you'll see. See when I slide it up and down. So that's pretty close actually. Let's call it 750 for a nice round number. That's when we're hovering on it. We want it to be that depth. And when we're not hovering over it, desktop state, I want it to be this depth, which is probably 120, 150, something like that. So again, I'm going to set the height here. You see it coming down. Whoops, too much. Went right on the bottom there, right there. 134. Well, that looks about right to me. It's take it to 135 just let it up so when we're not hovering over it we're just going to see this much of it when we are hovering over it we want to see the contents and obviously change the height to whatever contents you you've got in there now the time it takes to do this by default is about 300 milliseconds for me that's too quick so we'll go down to our transitions I'm on the advanced tab still on the section settings I'm going to take it up to about around about a second to actually expand on me. Obviously, you put yours exactly how you want. Now, when they hover over it initially, if they're just scrolling up and down, I might not want it to happen. I might just want it to happen when they've been on it for a little bit of time. So I'm going to give it a delay. Let's give it a delay of say half a second, so 500 milliseconds. That way they can scroll over it and it won't expand, but if they park on it, it will. And obviously you can put some text here, like click here or whatever, if you wanted to. And the speed curve I like to use for these sort of effects is ease in and ease out. They're all slightly different in different situations. Some will work better than others, so play around with them. But ease in and ease out is definitely one of my favorites for hover effects. So if we've done everything correctly, this should all work now. Let's save our changes. And exit the Visual Builder. And let's go on down. There's our little purple bar with the icon on it. If I roll over it, nothing happens. But if I park on it for a little while, it expands into our full section there with our contents. And if you roll off of it, it's going to collapse again. And that's a nice little hidden section that can expand and show your visitors some extra information there. And that's a nice little effect to have on your site. Really easy to do. We haven't had to write any custom CSS or anything. All done with the Divi onboard features. So I hope you've enjoyed that today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.